Today, we're talking about singles. All the single ladies, all the single ladies. Kraft American singles have double the calcium. I make it right, I make it. Ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike, before we dig in today's video, today's topic, I've been working hard. We finally got it done for you guys. Reebok code. You can shop all my favorite stuff in the description below. If you spend $150, you get $30 off. If you spend $100 or more, you get $20 off. Use code Silent Mike, capital letters, Silent Mike at checkout. Again, spend 150 or more, 30 bucks off, $100 or more, $20 off. Now let's dig into the topic at hand. We're talking about heavy singles in training, when to do them, how to do them, maybe why not to do them. And I've covered this a couple times in videos. The main argument for them is specificity. If you're a power lifter and you wanna get better at lifting weights, you wanna get stronger, sure, you need to practice one rep maxes because that's the overall goal. Now, the most common method of you know maxing out or daily maxes or even weekly maxes is the Bulgarian method. And that's as specific as you can get. You choose, you know, very specific, individual exercises, very few variations, and you're maxing out every day or every other day or whatever it might be depending on your method or your translation of that made famous by Abu Jayev. My issue with that is that one, the closer you get to a one rep max, obviously the harder it gets, the heavier the weight gets. And if you have bad habits or bad technical form, whether you're new or you're advanced and you just have something that breaks down in your form too often, it's gonna get exposed over time and the heavier you get, it's gonna get exposed. So if you're doing one rep maxes with this shit form, you're gonna build bad habits. And the whole goal of training is to build good habits so then when it is time to compete or represent that one rep max on the platform or on a test day or whatever makes you happy, that we can do it with the most picture perfect form that we can. That's why uh, I'm constantly preaching about sub-maximal training, you know, training between that realm of 55 to maybe 80%. In that range, one, it's light enough that we can feel our body, our proprioception, our body control, that we can perfect our form over time, that we can get better at the lift technically. Again, depending on your specific, and this is where the snowflake, you know, how uh, individualized your program may come into play, how good your form is or how efficient you are in technique at a heavier load comes into play. But for the majority of people, you know, 60 to 75%, we can work on our form, we can perfect our form, we can control our body a little bit better, build those good habits and then slowly ramp up. So then we do touch 90, 95, 100, 105% or future PRs that we keep that same technical efficiency. One, allowing us to recover better. The more efficient you are, the more you can recover. Two, allowing us to lift heavier weights over time. The more efficient you are, at a lift, the more weight and better uh, strength you can have and represent it in, into the barbell. And then, uh, I don't know if I'm on three on four, but three, uh, then we'll not get injured. And obviously, the longer you stay injury free, the stronger you can get over time. My second argument against Mr. Untamed Strength would be that, yes, the specificity of a one rep max is needed to become better and most efficient. It is the most specific. But what we know is one of the main drivers of strength and hypertrophy over the long run is volume. Volume is sets times reps times load, how much you can handle in training. And of course, he was speaking on one specific topic, but when we're looking broad term on our programming and we're doing one rep maxes all the freaking time, we can't get sufficient volume from a one rep max or 90 plus percent uh, because one, the load's literally just too heavy, we'll get burnt out and you can't do volume to build hypertrophy there. And I know that's not exactly what Alan was talking about. He was talking about a mixture of both. And in most cases, for most lifters, that is what we're gonna look for. Uh, but I do think there's times for peaks and valleys where there's definitely good times to not worry about your one rep max mentally as a lifter, start doing some variations in your off season and just build strength and build muscle, have a little bit of fun in the gym because again, longevity is the name of the game, both physically and mentally. And if you're so caught up in the number that you're hitting daily max or on the platform, sometimes it can be a real burnout and loss of motivation if you're not hitting the numbers you want or if you're not progressing. It is more difficult to progress in that one rep max if you're hitting it over and over and over. Yes, one rep maxes have great application and it is a good tool for most lifters when applied correctly throughout a prep or an off season I am more of a fan of using it specifically at, at timed purposes to prep for a meet rather than your off season again because we want to build that strength we want to build those good motor patterns plus let our body take a little bit of break and mental take a little bit of break from hitting those exact numbers that keep plugging ourselves in the head Overall, of course, guys, message of the story is it's another great tool that sometimes is used properly, sometimes is not, and it's about how to apply it, and that's about all programming and all training, is we wanna gather all these tools, gather this information in the scope of programming. There's many different things to consider, and then it's about using what tool when and what occasion for what lifter to allow us to continue to progress 
over time. Again, guys, be sure to check out my boys Alan's video. He talks about the one rep max and great reasons and why to use it. Check out the description below. Use code Salamike, save some money on all my Reebok gear. Appreciate you. Be sure to subscribe, give a thumbs up, leave a question or comment below what topic you want me to cover next. And I will catch you guys in the next video. I'm out of here.